so the first thing that we will retrieve it is going to be the job title okay so in here we will say snapshot and we will go with the dot data the question mark and also we will say dot docs and we're gonna also have that with a specific index as I told you already okay now in there string and we will say job title and guys I'm telling you again and again the name right in here and also in the firebase fire store right in the collection of jobs it must be same okay that key name must be same if it's not it will not retrieve the data and also in here check that spelling in your case in my case I have already checked it right from the firebase fire store right from the collection of jobs okay so making sure of that and then let's move further so in here we just get the job title and it is gonna be right inside that string type variable okay and it's gonna pass that right to the job widget design if you guys just press the control and then press the left click on the mouse then it will take you right to the job widget it will pass that right in here and in here we will receive it okay job title so right down in here let's check that job title where we just show it let me see there we go job title okay so in here we will just receive it and that's the design it will show the job title okay like that let me just show you right in here there's the job title it's gonna be like that right in the search job screen okay guys right in here so one by one we will get the data and show it in here and we will receive it in here okay so let me close that from here let's move further now now we will get the job description and we will say snapshot for a time saying what I'll do I'll just copy that from here and in here past it okay guys so in here we will say job description in here put as and then we say description guys making sure of the spelling okay guys right from the firebase fire store right from the collection of jobs and we just get the job description and it's going to be right inside that and it will pass it right to the job widget design okay as i show you already now let's get the job id in here pass the code and in here we will say job id just don't get confused in that guys okay now we will get the uploaded by so in here patch that and in here we will say uploaded by in here it's capital V now we will get the user image in here patch that and we will say user image and also let's get the name in here we will say name also let's get the recruitment okay because we're gonna have to check that so in here we will just retrieve it so in here past it instead of writing it so in here let's write recruitment okay also let's get the email in here past it we are gonna add in here email let's get the location in here past it and in here write the location and guys I'm telling you again I have already checked the spelling right in the firebase fire store right from the collection of the jobs and in here then I'm writing it okay first I just check it and make sure of it then I'm writing it right in here so we are done with that we just get it and it's going to be right inside that one by one and it will just pass it right to the job widget design and we will receive it there and it's going to be right in the design so right in the design let's press the control and left click on the mouse so here we are right in the job design okay job widget design 
so in here what we just show the job title and also the name the description and there you go with the icon okay we just show that right in the design I'm telling you again it's gonna be like that design okay so go back to the search job screen and we have successfully read the data get it and now what I'll do below this list builder move it to the left side and below this called the brushes in here we will say else call the brushes and tag this down because working of if has been done now right in here we have that else and in here we will say return simply the center widget in here put semicolon and take this down now you'll have a child let's have the text widget and right in the text widget we will simply have the text right in the string so in here we will say there is no job okay in case of first add the const modifier so we will show that text there is no job right in the else okay in case of if that else f snapshot dot connection state if that not equal to the connection state dot active if it's not equal to that then right in else we will show that text and if that equal to the active and if that's active then we will show write all the working of this if okay and also we will check that as i explained this in detail already now in here we will return center widget okay in here semicolon child at save text widget and right in there we will say something went wrong if there are going to be any unknown error then we will show that okay text now let's do some style for that so as usual text style right in here we will set the font red let's set it to font red dot bold and also we will set the font size set it to 30 final all just fine add the font modifier so the yellow line will be gone then there we go okay all is just fine and we are just successfully done with retrieving the data and all of the working okay right in the body we just done with that and I have explained this in detail already so I hope you can get the idea now now what I'll do I'll just simply hold to load the app and we will check the result now come here and just hold to load the app run man dot dot there we go now we are on the job screen guys okay there's the job screen now let's go towards the search job screen click in here and in here for now as you guys can see there is no job because we didn't search anything yet okay it's run that tax right in the center of the screen okay now what I'll do first I'll go back to the job screen in here in my case I have uploaded these three job okay and that's the title for that specific jobs now what I'll do I'll simply search for that Tony Stark business company okay we will search for that specific job right in the search job screen let's go there back again in here there is no job okay for now in here the name was Tony there we go with the suggestion as you guys can see okay Tony start business why didn't is just appears still it just remove 
I think first what I'm gonna do take this down cancel it okay open the run from here and there we go okay that's the reason that it wasn't just appear still so what I'll do now in here as you guys can see the query requires an index you can create it, it here so what I'll do I'll just simply copy that URL copy it from here and open the browser so here we are we are in the Firebase right with this open a new tab and right in here paste the URL that we just copied before right from the run in here paste it and press the enter it is gonna simply create a index for us so then whenever we will search for a job it's gonna appear still okay it will not disappear like you just guys noticed before while ago so in here simply click on that create index as you guys can see the status right in here for these jobs okay it's building so it's working on that just wait for a while and we will just test the app again as you guys can see the status is now enabled okay now we will go back to the app take this down so we are done with the index now I'll just simply how to load the app from here and you guys will just notice the suggestion okay now we are on the job screen as you guys can see right in here now if I click on the search icon it will take you as you guys know to the search job screen and there are gonna be some suggestion already okay that will show it to you I mean for the user so click in here there we go with some suggestion okay now what I'll do I'll just simply in here let's search for we code there we go as you guys can see we code IT company as you guys can see the suggestion now there is that one job where that we code IT it simply get that and check it if it's equal to or greater than this query and it just shows that specific job okay now let's clear the search query and it's gonna update it and that's all the job okay that's the suggestion that it will show you already okay we didn't search anything yet as you guys can see the search field yet okay so in here I'm gonna search for the Tony Stark one okay Tony Stark business company as you guys can see the suggestion right on top okay let's also write this star the spelling is wrong right in here star st st a r k there we go with the suggestion okay it's right on top and if you guys take this down and there we go it still appear okay it didn't go away now I'll just enter the full title of the specific job also we will write the business company okay there we go right on top it show you that specific job okay Tony Stark business company it gave the priority first to the Tony Stark business okay because right in here we just enter that tax and it's equal to that title okay and it just shows that specific job and in here as you guys can see that other suggestion okay because in here also there is a company and we enter in here company that's why in here it's appear so take this down and I'm gonna simply now clear the search query and there's the suggestion that will appear already okay now we will go back to the search job you can simply come here and upload a multiple jobs from a different accounts I have already showed you the result okay so in here in your case upload a multiple jobs and then come right in here it will appear right in the job screen and if you guys go to the search job screen in here search for that specific job and also it's gonna appear right in here as I showed you the result already okay so we are successfully done with that 
with the search job screen and all of their working and we tested the app successfully and you guys already know about the result that it is working fine now we will go back right to the job screen and basically that's it for this video right on the next video we will work right on the search company that one okay all worker screen we're gonna work on that so see you in the next video that's it